Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Ben Luning. I'm the master taster. This is Horst, my father. He is uh, the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we're talking about the awards in June. And if, we, if we're talking about the list, what we've done in June, and you've been very busy and I've yeah. not done that much, <laughs> but I think I've been away at some point. So I've got a bit of an excuse there. So I'm, I'm really... I'm not at the podium today, but I do have one honorable mention that just just didn't make it. It's the Knob Creek Rye. It's a really, really nice Jim Beam Rye and from the premium brand Knob Creek. And I do love it. It's just a well-made Knob Creek, 50% ABV, very spicy due to the rye and it, it deserves a, a recognition. Oh, it already got some a gold at the IWSC 2016. So <laughs> they beat me to it. But yes, it's a good one. Um, they, I see, have a new bottle with these engravings and everything. I think they yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, but they were a bit different. But they already ha always had these. Or not the, the, as the I shape, remember. The, the overall the shape, shape yeah. is identical. But, but the, it's a bit well, different. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it feels a bit different though. More fancy. Didn't, yeah. So, third place, Bros, well, you do have this. That one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have it in my hand, I didn't try it. <laughs> it's the? <laughs> it's the Chivas Real Regal, mm -hmm. uh, 18 years of age, and this is a blended whiskey. Means there is grain whiskey in it as well, but the main ingredients, the main, the lead malt is from Strathyla, and I love Strathyla. Strathyla is one of my favorite malt whiskies. And this is a mixture, and everybody knows the 12 year old in, with a silver uh, label on it. You find it in very, very f uh, nearly all bars around the world. So it's a very good selling whiskey. It increased in price very much, and the Chivas 18 year old is premium to that. It's not always available, it's quite rare. It's priced in the 60s. So it has a 50% premium to the 12 year old. And this is so elegant, uh, smooth, rounded. You can't imagine a very edgy, uh, intense, spicy whiskey. No, this is, as you go, wonderful. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is third place. And then I do have the second place. And uh, because you have been uh, on, should have been on travel, <laughs> you should have had this one. Yeah. It's the Woodford Reserve. And in specialty, this is the double oaked. Means uh, they have a finish in a second oak cask. Is that bottle different? The bottle is different. The typical uh, Woodford Reserve has a uh, thinner yeah, it's, Not, it's flatter. It's flatter, this huh? is. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit small, but it's bulgy, so it's bulgy. it does so have an 0.7 liter. Yeah, it's 43.2 ABV, as the other have. And it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Uh, and I'm not that fond of uh, American whiskies. But this one is really outstanding. And why? Well, uh, Woodford Reserve, the Lebro and Graham distillery, as it was called before, from 1700 something, um, has pot stills. Pot stills from Scotland, from Forsyth, and they have a triple distillation process. And I'm not quite sure if they really triple distill or if they use the smaller uh, stills are, in parallel. I think they are triple distilled. Yeah, pretty triple distilled, yeah. yeah. But they don't write it on the on the label. Yeah. And uh, Woodford Reserve went up like a like a star. So they started from very very few casks in 1998, I think, or 99. When was it there? 1996? No, eight. Uh, they they were very familiar, and now it's a huge place. They produce like hell. It's really a big brand today. And this is a specialty. This is a smaller amount of very, uh, of excellent uh, quality. And this is as well 50% more expensive than the normal uh, Woodford Reserve. It's around 50. But it has a double oak, so they actually put in a new make American oak, mm -hmm. new American oak. 
and then take it out and put it in a new castle and <laughs> cast. And that's why it's called a double oak. I think I've already done a video of that, but I think it was a few years, like one of the first I tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I came back from my 2015 tour of Woodford, that was a. It's an amazing distillery. Visit it every yeah. time you come there. And the third one is a Glen Turret Triple Wood. Triple Wood. And um, this is really special. There, uh, Glen Turret is the oldest producing malt whiskey distillery in Scotland. So it's 1779. 1763 it says here. And then they went down to 1763. They found other documents. Oh, they found another document. <laughs> <laughs> now we're older. <laughs> now we're older. <laughs> and uh, those have the uh, a chance to produce in those days because they are in the southeast of the highlands and they were reachable from the shore from the tax men so they were allowed to produce because they were able to be taxed they d did not belong tax wise to the highlands and uh, well then the distillery changed uh, proprietors uh, lately some 10 years ago i think and uh, they started, uh, and part of the new ownership, they produced these uh, decanters, Laliques. Lalique. Uh. Yeah. And uh, therefore, now they have these wonderful bottles. In former times, they had been just one bottle, 10 year old Glen Turret in a standard bottle. And today we have more. And part of this is this uh, triple wood and 45% ABV. And this is, I think, they had several sh different sherry gas with it. Mm -hmm. um, so I found it very complex, typical malty, uh, Highland malt style, but due to those three casks, very complex. So mm. today we have a very different <laughs> pieces of work it's here. It's really strange. We have a blended, we have an American and, <laughs> and yeah, the top ball. takes a scotch, mm -hmm. but I say Glen Turret is one of these hidden gems. It's it's really not well known. It's it's amongst the yeah amongst the malt heads. You do know Glen Turret, uh, but it's really an, a not and they are celebrated lying, and advertised the yeah, still. They are lying yet. off a little bit from the coast uh, from the yeah. tourist routes. So they are a bit bit hidden. Yeah, they're not gone, but they are a bit hidden. But still producing yeah. since 1763. Yeah, so our best whiskey of this month was the Glen Turret Triple Wood. And yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>